we reach that time of year again. Good old Christmas time. That one time of the year where we can let ourselves go and drink and be merry. Or like me, remain the only sober one in the room for full entertainment when the inevitable shenanigans kick in. Well, we all know the Doctor loves Christmas. In fact, the Doctor Who Christmas special has become one of life's very few constants over the past decade. So, naturally, he's had a few non-standard costumes throughout them. And today we're just going to be taking a quick look at them. I've already covered a few of them before, but there's no harm in going over them again for Christmas. Let's begin with the Tenth Doctor and his not-so-glamorous dressing gown and pyjamas, the Alpha Dent look. This is Ten's first proper look after ditching Nine's outfit, and he spends most of the Christmas invasion in it. He partakes in a badass sword fight with an alien, single-handedly takes down the British government with a few words. Standard Christmas of the office, really. This is a pretty simple look. While the exact pattern of pyjamas would be extremely difficult, nay, impossible to get, it is still just pyjamas, so standard stripy pair combined with a dark blue dressing gown. Oh, and don't forget the Satsuma. Next, the Tuxedo, as seen in Voyage of the Damned. Although it was seen in a few episodes prior to this one, I still think it counts as a unique look. I mean, come on, Christmas, in space. On the Titanic nonetheless, Space Titanic. Fortunately, this is pretty easy too. A black suit jacket or blazer should be easy to find from any good clothing store, as should a white tuxedo shirt and black trousers. An absolute must will be a black bow tie, but again, that should be common from places such as Next. And also, don't forget the thing that separates this from the standard tux, the black converse. Trust tend to put such a spin on the James Bond look. Moving on to the 11th Doctor and his definitive Christmas look, the luxurious Victorian garb, which appeared in both The Snowmen and Time of the Doctor. The frock coat here, a woolen design with the warm collar, is without a doubt one of the most beautiful coats that the Doctor has worn on screen. My go-to version is the Cos Daddy version, which comes in at about 100 quid, but is definitely the best and most available replica on the market at the moment. Along with this, the shirt has thin red stripes along it, and you should be able to find something like this in the shops. If you want to play it safe, however, just go for a white shirt. It'll be fine. Now, on top of this, there is the race coat. Funny thing is, there are two different velvet race coats used between the snowman and Time of the Doctor. A deep burgundy for the snowman, and a black version first seen in Nightmare and Silver at Time of the Doctor. The black version is more easily available from Obsidian's for around 60 quid, and in my view, it's definitely worth it. However, if you want to give the aged Time of the Doctor version a go, then you can forego the race coat. The bow tie used is a now titled Nightmare in Silver bow tie, which is available from Mrs. Bowtie for £26. It's a favourite of mine, to be fair. You can also exchange this for a standard black necktie if you want to do him from the early part of the snowman. For the trousers, I used plaid trousers. The accurate style trousers are impossible to find, so I would definitely recommend light coloured plaid trousers as a possible baseline for you to work from. But that's just my advice. Check next in Primark, and of course, check eBay. The chain. It'll be difficult, if not impossible, to find a replica of a cheap, so I use this silver locket. It does the job. There is a bronze version about that continuously evades me, however, so if you find that, buy that. And of course, the shoes. Just grab some standard brown brogue boots if you can. Simple. And of course, the brown top hat for the snowman look. For sure you can find something similar, if not exact to what was used. You can find these easily on eBay. And now we come to the current incarnation, the Twelfth Doctor. So far, he generally wears bits of his regular costumes in the Christmas specials. Oh, and uh, don't forget the tangerine. Uh, but in the quite frankly stunning ending of Husbands of River Song, he dresses up for the date with his wife. Generally, Twelve's costume here is similar to his outfit in The Mummy of the Orient Express. It has a black double-breasted suit jacket, buttoned up, a white shirt, black trousers, and a long black cravat. It's a fairly simple outfit. Use any white shirt you have, and the jacket is something you can potentially find on eBay for cheap as an ex-hire jacket. But they're also common in charity shops, and of course, men's rest stores, but we know which ones are cheaper. Same with the trousers, just standard black trousers. As for the cravat, I'm not entirely sure of the name of this specific type, but an ascot cravat will do the job perfectly for the outfit. An added bonus to this will be to bring River's Sonic Screwdriver with you, but it's just an option. And now, in the return of Doctor Mysterio, we'll be seeing at least two brand new variants for the Twelfth Doctor's outfit, including the on-screen introduction of the brand new black velvet crombie coat. Well, there we have it. A quick guide to dressing as the Doctor at Christmas. I hope this helps you, as always, and I just want to say thank you so, so much for following my channel this past year, and past two years even, and for just sticking with me, supporting with me, watching my things, and uh, honestly, it means so, so much to me, and 
I don't think words can ever express how much. And I never thought it would ever get as big as it has. So, yeah, I just want to thank you all so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a safe New Year. So take care, and I will see you later. Bye!